in the back of my head and was the scene just there because of because of an agenda and uh, it seems as you really to enjoy it if you think about all about this the whole time. <laughs> it's weird when I know someone is listen, but I have to well read your answer. It's weird. Me tell you, there is just. Uh, well, Brie Larson is her acting is just like movie, really mediocre. It's just when you compare it to them, um, the, perform, the performances people gave, for example, in Infinity War, she just you can't compare us really. She's just yeah. I guess I'm sad. I'm I'm a little bit happy right now. But I'm also a little bit sad. But it's just relatively expressionless. I mean, they try to give you reasons in the movie that, uh, yeah, she should control her emotion and stuff like this, but it's just. Uh, in the beginning, there's a scene, so yeah, you should fight. When you fight, you should control your emotions and yeah, stuff like this. <laughs> well, um, so Jude Law's character is training with her, and he's like, you should control your emotions. If you do this, you would be really powerful. But then this never comes up again until for a joke in the end of the movie. A joke they was in uh, Indiana Jones, so <laughs> yeah. Then there in the end, uh, Jude Law's character is in front of her and is like, "Yeah, let's fight just with our fists. You can show me that you control your emotions." And she then just blasts him with an energy blast or photon blast and it's just ah hilarious not really but that's the reaction they want from you um, and there would of course the biggest problem be the plot that's just oof goes nowhere it's uh, like I said this solo effect that it explains stuff that doesn't need any explanation for example they show you how uh, Fury got the scars why he has the uh, what it's called, an eye patch the eye patch? I think um, or why the Avengers are called the Avengers which is just stupid Let me Google. I <laughs> you know, I my English is okay. Eye patch. Yes, it is an eye patch. Well Oh well he Fury gets the scars on his eye by one of the most stupid <laughs> things you could imagine. It is just a joke for this movie. He gets it from the fucking cat. 
he is holding the cat and uh, petting her and all of a sudden the cat gets pissed and scratches him and <laughs> yes it's just this is something that's just played for laughs it's horrible just Um, I've watched some uh, reviews and one showed a scene from Avengers, first Avengers movie and I'm pretty sure it's, well they showed a scene where Fury's like I lost my eye the last time I trusted someone and now this scene means nothing when you know that he lost because of a cat ah <sighs> uh. What else is there? Yeah, the Avengers are called the Avengers because Captain Marvel uh, apparently had this printed on her jet that she was flying. <laughs> yes. There, you know, there is this scene in the end of the movie where uh, Fury apparently type something and it's the called the, the defenders initiative or something like that um, and he watches through some pictures has a little chat with Colson beforehand but that's not really important and he has this picture of uh, Captain Marvel with a jet in the background and that is I think it's the Actual name, uh, what was it? Carol, um, the name of the character pre Larsen Fields is Carol something, and it's, I think there's uh, there's written Carol something on the jet in the back row, and he's like, oh, I will call it the Adventure Initiative. Brilliant. Yes. And, you know, I'm talking about small stuff actually. I could go on about the plot that's just. So mediocre. They basically. There are some, you know, ideas that you could make in good movie out of, but they just take the first step and make a setup for this good stuff. But then, don't go any further. Uh, you have watched um, Anomalies videos, right? <laughs> yes, so... Um, for example, the twist that the Krees are actually evil, it is not, it isn't, it just isn't done very well. She, so Captain America remembers everything what actually happened. And basically, what she knows at this point is that Jude Law's character killed a deserter and traitor to the Kree and at least that's what she's told. That doesn't mean that the Kree are evil, but all of a sudden she's like, oh my god, the Kree are evil. And now I will believe this guy that is a member of the species that I think I think are um, invaders and conquerors of many planets. I will now believe and help him. Because of this one thing. And it would be much better if there was shown a connection between uh, Captain Marvel and this traitor. I forgot the woman's name. So. But this is 
a concept the movie doesn't really understand. Okay, so show, I'll don't just tell. be waiting over here. Most of you the know, stuff when you're they ready will to go. tell you, even if it's completely unnecessary. And show you get barely anything. Yeah. The best example is in the chase sequence, beginning of the movie, or rather the beginning of the movie, with Fury and Kree and Captain Marvel. The, she's on a train, and the train is driving in a tunnel, and you have just one character that's like, oh, uh, there's a tunnel. You're like, yeah, I see that. Thank you for and mentioning it. Have you made it. a decision yet? Isn't really needed. And the uh, movie rather tells you that these characters know each other and are very important to each other instead of showing you. And it cripples the movie in so many ways. <sighs> you know, it's... Pirate. That's right. Why? Think all you want. I'm in no hurry. Are you making fun of me? Again. show up, I would really like to talk to Anomaly because of his videos, this would be very inter interesting. Oh yeah, well, maybe they show up sometime. Well, then I... Ugh, God. For oh, now, I would say I talked enough. I'm just gonna mute myself again. And wait until somebody else pops up. That wants to talk to me. That wasn't me, but...